Okay guys, today we are taking a look at the SC Hunglas 2. Now you guys are directly in the sunlight, so I might not be looking at the camera too much, but that's right, we are taking a look at the Hunglas 2 and kind of talking about this beast of a blade. Now the Hunglas 2 has to be one of my favorite, especially for large blades, and I just did my review on the DPX Heft 12, and while I do sometimes like and need the larger machetes, oftentimes when I just want a larger knife, one of my choices is the Hunglas 2. And the reason why is hopefully you guys could kind of see through the testing that I just did there, whether it's chopping, batoning, um, notching, even feather sticking, this uh, Hunglas 2 is a really great performer. And I think that SC did a fantastic job with the Hunglas 2 in making it a very large knife that is also very, I don't know if uh, approachable is the best way to best term to put but essentially a knife that is very multi-role oriented something that you can use to you know quickly crudely fashion a tent peg chop through light brush uh, even medium-sized brush as you guys can see there with relatively good effectiveness of course you know something like the heft 12 or a full-sized hunglis or artac 2 will always be faster and better but the trade-off is those are heavier harder to swing or at least more fatiguing to swing and of course um, a little bit more difficult to use on smaller tasks so the hunglas 2 really is kind of a a bridge gapper where it bridges the gap between larger knives and smaller knives if you don't quite need or quite have the ability to use a smaller tool like a uh, you know more a smaller size knife, uh, like maybe a neck knife, this is a really great tool to kind of bridge that gap where it gives you a lot of the flexibility that big blades have, but also a lot of the advantages of smaller blades. And I think a lot of that is attributed to the super comfortable handle on this guy. It is really awesome and it's actually one of my kind of things that I, I like or one of the reasons why I actually like the Hunglis family more than the Artac family. I think the Artac has great value to it, but the handles, the way that the Hunglis handles are made, it makes it very easy to really choke right up on the uh, front side of the blade and do some of your more fine-tuned tasks like feather sticking pretty easily, but also when you do need to kind of kick back and chop, you have a nice flared out end section where you can really kind of come back and you get a few extra inches added of leverage when you swing. And like I said, I feel like that's really compounded with the Hunglis itself, but for sure, um, like the Hunglis 2, I think that's really compounded because of its smaller size. As far as performance goes, I think this thing did a fantastic job. This, there's a reason why in some of my previous videos, I talked about this being my primary scouting knife. And I hope this video was able to kind of articulate that point because in a kind of scouting knife, it's a multi-role blade that, like I said, you might have to brush blaze. You might have to work through some, you know, lighter trees, some lighter brush to make a path or a trail for further, you know, trips and further, you know, expeditions. Whereas, you know, you also might have to to get caught, you might get caught up in the weather. You might have to fashion a crude uh, shelter to help hide or help, you know, get yourself out of weather in a quick pinch. And that's what I really like about the Hunglas 2. It's a very versatile blade that allows you to, you know, gather firewood, process firewood, blaze trails, make shelters. Uh, you can do so much with this tool. And one of the things I'll say is, is it perfect at doing all of those things? No, you would definitely want to have an ax, a saw, and probably a bit smaller knife if you wanted perfect tools for those applications. But being a tool that is able or capable of all of those, the Hunglas 2 is a very versatile knife and uh, maybe even small, very small machete, uh, but basically a very big knife or a big knife to me. And that's what I really like about the Hunglas 2. And at first, when Essie dropped this knife, the Hunglas 2, and this has been a few years ago, um, I was really like, what the heck, why did they make this knife? You know, they already have the Hunglas, but actually having a Hunglas 2 in hand, I can see why a lot of people, including Essie, made the knife and love the knife. Um, it is a really fantastic, like I said, bridge gapper between your bigger blades and your smaller 
smaller blades and it ends up because of its really good ergonomics just being able to go back and forth between things like chopping things like feather sticking things like notching things like batoning uh, it's just really capable of doing a wide plethora of tasks so while this blade isn't right for everyone if that sounds like the type of blade that if it sounds like the type of blade that you might need or want, I would definitely encourage checking out the Hoongless 2. It is surprisingly more capable than you might give it credit if you haven't used one. And for those who do have them and use them, I can see why you do. See why you do. So anyways, guys, that is my review on the SC Hoongless 2. It is a really capable blade. I definitely love using it and it is definitely my go-to for scouting. Anyways, it is definitely one of my go-to blades for scouting uh, and it so anyways guys hopefully you enjoyed the video as always god bless and i'm out